the issue of accepting fresh evidence by the appellate court, it's usually very rare. Uh, why is it very rare? Because the job of the appellate court is usually to review the decision of the lower court. They don't take evidence. They don't cross, allow cross-examination. of. They don't take witnesses or documentary evidence. Theirs is to review the decision that has been reached by lower court. And if you feel aggrieved with the decision of the lower court, you go to appeal. And then appeal, a uh, court will review that decision, whether rightly held or wrongly held. Uh, that is what they do. So, But if you are not introducing fresh evidence, uh, after court below has given a judgment or a ruling, they rarely accept any fresh evidence. But they do under very uh, exceptional grounds, very special grounds. Uh, w- one of which is that if that particular evidence was not available to you uh, during the time you were getting the process at the court below. And it is very vital for the just and equitable resolution of the matter. They can accept it. You must prove uh, that that is actually what has happened. You must also prove that you may have actually pleaded the fact of that particular case in your case at the lower court. You must show evidence that you pleaded it. You feel the fact of that, but that particular information, I mean, document was not available to you when you were prosecuting the case at the court below. Okay. So if you are now bringing that fresh evidence and it is proven that at the time you were at the court below, the facts uh, was pleaded in your, in your environment, but you were not able to produce that particular evidence because it was not available or it was impractically impossible, but you have now procured and it is very relevant. And it is very, very good for you to justly, for the court to use it to justly resolve the issue. They will go ahead. But you come by way of seeking leave at the appellate court with affidavit evidence. Of course, you'll be opposed with a affidavit by your uh, other party. That is what actually happened. And that is actually what may likely happen in this particular case. That they, they will uh, come by way of seeking leave and they will... Uh, be opposed by the by the uh, Bola uh, uh legal team. Now the court will now look at do, bo- those affidavits of both parties mm. and exercise what you call discretion, discretionary power, whether to admit that fresh evidence or not. In 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 applying discretion, in using discretion whether to accept or not to accept, the court will help you exercise that discretionary power according to the normal principles of law, judicially and judiciously. And what we mean by judicially is that it must be exercised in accordance with the law. Secondly, it must be exercised with equity and fairness in mind before uh, we can know whether they have accepted it or not. Or not. So that is the process that we have to articulate. But let me say this. Hmm. Under Section 137, uh, Subsection 1, uh, Paragraph J of the 1999 Constitution, if you are a candidate in any election and you are alleged or said to have uh, uh, given INEC a forged document, okay. the word forged document, it is a ground of disqualification. And the best method, the best method for you to prove the primary evidence is from the person that would have issued you that document that you are alleged not to have forced. So they will be the one to say that, oh, we did not give you this document. Or that the document you attended is completely forged. Let me give you an instance. Mm. A candidate from Plateau, is it Plateau or Bainway, okay. claimed to have obtained a forged degree in from University of uh, Lagos, Lagos State University, Lasso. He claimed to have obtained masters from Lasso University. He also claimed to have done his youth service. And so well, while he was filing his papers before INEC, he filed the first degree, he filed the second degree, he filed his NYSC certificate. His opponent found out that those certificates were actually fake and forged and was not from the University of Lagos and from the last Lagos State University. So while in the court, he was able to secure the university or a lasso official I think chief registrar who came and gave evidence. Okay. And why giving evidence in the court? Uh, he said, this man was never their student, both at the degree level and at the second degree level. It was also proved from NYAC that the certificate, the discharge certificate that he tendered to INEC was also not original. 
Okay. And so when the lower court dismissed the petition and the man went on appeal, the man that lost at the lower court went on appeal. The appeal court said who, the primary evidence was given by the university to say that this man was never their student. He never attended Lasso. He never in any way obtained first degree there. He never obtained second degree there. And he never in any way served you know, the nation and got uh, any discharge certificate. And because that primary evidence came from the university, the, 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 the court, court of Appeal believed that evidence. And, uh, and they disqualified the candidate who has already been declared the winner. And not only disqualified him, but banned him from life from contesting any political office in Nigeria. That decision still stands. Now, in the case of uh, uh, Bola Tunubu, there is a slight difference. Okay. Slight difference is that the Ch uh, Chicago University now says, oh, he was their student. He graduated from their university in 1979 and was given a, a, a diploma. That's what they call it, the certificate. They call it diploma in U U U.S. Yeah. So, and they acknowledge that he was their student. But what they have an issue with now is the, is, the, the, is the certificate that he tendered. Was it the certificate that was issued to him by the university, or was he a different university? I mean, a different uh, authority where he got it from. Mm -hmm. And if it is from the university, what did the university say in their deposition? Did they say they don't know about it, that it is fake? Because it is only them that can pronounce that document. When they say it's fake, there is nothing the Supreme Court can do. When the Supreme Court accepts that fresh evidence, it will pronounce it fake. But my problem is that, as I speak to you now, I have been reading all manner of things from the social media. I don't know who to believe. I don't know whether to believe the, the team of uh, Bola Tunubu. I don't know whether to believe the team of, uh, of Atiku. They are all claiming victory in the deposition. So you don't know what to believe. Only for us now to leave this matter open when this evidence will be presented before the Supreme Court. If it is accepted in the first place, let the Supreme Court be in a better position to make a pronouncement whether that particular certificate has been pronounced fake or forged by the Chicago uh, State University. And that is where we are at this point in time, my brother uh, Kofi. Yes. You've heard of the deposition. Yes. Um, can, can we, all of us, use the word forged to describe the certificate presented by uh, the APC presidential candidate to INEC? You know, we can't do that because it, the, the, the facts are a bit complicated. I understand that there was a time this same university you know, certified the copy that was presented, this copy now that was tendered in INEC, that there was a time the university certified it. That, that the lawyers of uh, Balatunubu has a certified through copy of this one that was presented. Now they sent it to university, and the university certified it. Okay. Are you following me? All the right. only thing that they are not saying that the font, the font and the signatures were different because things changed mm -hmm. from the time they issued the original certificate in 1979. And now subsequently, there were, you know, people that have changed. The font size wasn't the same with the one that they gave in 1979. The font size. Okay. wasn't the same and all that you know some minor some some of the discrepancies were discovered in this one that was presented to to uh to INEC. and as i said earlier what makes a, a bit of the, uh, this particular case a bit unique in this is the, is the sense that the university acknowledged that this particular student was a graduate of their school okay are you following me that that, yeah. that, 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 that is it that that hit at the core at the core of the matter if, if you know acknowledge yeah. that he was their student yeah